internet named Naga, and Naga took me around showing me some of the trees that grow in Miri, and this is one that's just kind of like used for landscaping, and since he pointed it out to me, I've been noticing it like other places too, which is kind of, kind of interesting. It is this guy. This is a, as you see, like a, like a bean pod, seed pod sort of, sort of deal. These are still technically fruits. Um, I mean, you got the skin and you got the seeds. I hear them in there. And around the seeds, there is, you know, that fleshy bit, and that is housing the seed, so it's a fruit. Naga told me that this is called salmon. He said that this is something that people eat in India, but uh, other parts of the world, not so much. So it's kind of interesting. He said that he's been like, he sees these like all over the place and had no idea that these were actually edible. Uh, and then someone pointed it out to him, and now he will eat them. So, it's kind of cool. There's a lot of things out there that, you know, grow in nature. You might look at it and be like, hey, that's cool, but not realize that it's something that you can actually put in your mouth and not die, and could potentially even taste good. Here's the uh, inside of it. I just peeled the outer later layer of the skin off. And you can see it's kind of like got these like, little slots in it like that, and the seeds are in here. So here's the seed if you want to check that guy out. Looks a little bit like a large like apple seed. The smell is kind of interesting. It smells like like a dark malted bread. Yeah. And very, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting smell. Very sweet. Hmm. So I'm just gonna like nibble at it. It's gotta taste like kinda like molasses. A little bit like raisins. But also it does have like a kind of like a like a hearty taste like bread. You know what it tastes like? <laughs> It's like raisin bran. It's got like that kind of like, I don't know, that like dark, like weedy flavor from the flakes, but also like the raisiny, like sweet taste from the raisins. So yeah, bizarrely, it tastes like raisin bran. It's got like a little bit of a funky aftertaste though. So when you eat it, so it's like, hey, raisin bran. And then like afterwards, it's like, what was in that raisin bran? Funky, the way like, like a bean, like a stinky bean, but it hits you like afterwards. Like when you first eat it, it just tastes like nothing but like raisin bran. But then a little bit later, it just kind of like sneaks up on you and gives you like this like strange like aftertaste. So um, not unpleasant, but definitely like kind of strange. This is something that maybe um, you can find some use for out of, you know, for cooking. But to eat it like on its own, eh, I can't imagine doing that. I think just being like, like eating this thing out in public or something, people would probably put you away for that. But if you, you know, crack these guys open and you get like all that good gunk in there out of it, I think this would be a good thing to like flavor foods with, make like a sauce out of it or something, use it in place of like tamarind or something, uh, that might be kind of interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a cool one, definitely interesting. So um, yeah, if you see these growing around, um, pick one, try it, see what you think, maybe find some way to, uh, to cook with it. Hey guys, before you click out, I'd like to give a very, very special shout out to a Patreon contributor of mine, Giles Lehu. Thanks to Giles' contribution, my series has finally hit another milestone. What that means is that there is going to be a brand new series that I'm going to be doing of different coffee alternatives. It's going to be called there, That's Not Coffee. I'll be posting a little bit more about that like later on, but I do want to just like give mention to just how much it helps to get uh, very generous people out there like Giles to bring my series even further along uh, towards 
all the things that I really would like to do, but might not have funding to do. If you'd like to help out and bring my series to even greater heights, then please click on uh, this window or click on the link in the description below to go to my Patreon page where you can learn even more about how you can help out. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.